you're going to receive some sort of communication from someone that you thought was gone out of your life. Somebody who had sort of laid you out, somebody who made you feel like they didn't want to be bothered with you. It's really quite interesting energy because as is normally the case, a lot of what people project onto us has nothing to do with us. But this is confusing to you because you did feel as though they had basically sort of just left you by the roadside and you felt very much in this energy of having been betrayed. And what's so interesting is that this person knew that they were in a crisis time. Your person absolutely knew that they were a very drama filled. Your person knew that they were in a crisis themselves and you ended up feeling Feeling this projected energy, which was really their energy. It's very common when we're unhappy, we will project that onto any situation, you know, it's normal human behavior. When we get the energy of you feeling as though this was over, dead, gone, your person never felt that way. They felt, they understood what was happening inside of them, but they did not tell you. So, of course, you took this very personally, as you would, as anyone would. So, I get this beautiful reconciliation energy here, three of cups, best friends, lovers. These are the people that you would have as your closest circle of friends at your wedding, for instance. And this person feels that way about you. Your person feels that way. We have the sun card, which also tells us that they feel as though you're their happy place. So all of this sort of angst here that you have experienced in the past that you hold as your reality right now is really not accurate, okay? What they think of you or what you think they think of you is very different than how they actually think of you. <laughs> did that make any sense? I hope it did. Okay, so when we look at their heart space for you, this is quite good energy. It does say that this person came out, this is Scorpio energy, that they came out of another relationship and that's why they've been so wounded in this energy here. That when the two of you came across each other, met, however you want to say it, were introduced by friends, which I think is a big component of the the information that I'm seeing, we see that in their heart space, they had to make a decision. They had to make a decision to leave somebody in the past alone, which was the only decision they could make because the person that they were with made it impossible for them to return. But in their heart space, they needed to be able to make that step out of this anxiety and into, and this is where they're at with you right now, into the heart space of really wanting to make a significant offer to you, to work slowly towards making a significant offer to you. They wanted the timing to be right. They want to be in this very jovial, happy energy of Sagittarius. Your person wants to come to you with a beautiful offer of love. And we see that without this person, you've been, you know, you felt like, well, I thought we were going to have a party. Your person thought they were, the, the two of you would have a party and then it never happened. So in their heart space, though, you are their wish fulfillment. You are their happy place. You are their best friend, possibly in the future and forever. The Ace of Coins with the Three of Cups is even the engagement set. But this shows a transformation of your person. And it is also signifies why it's difficult to date somebody who's freshly out of a very bad relationship. So it really did put some bumps in the road for you. And, you know, oftentimes what I'm seeing is your person wasn't as far along in the healing process as they may be presented to you. So what we see in terms of their intentions with you, they have fire in their belly to make a very good relationship, to create a very good relationship with very traditional values. They see you as someone who is divinely a choice for them. The lover's card with the guardian angel, Archangel Michael, is saying that your person really feels that you're the one for them. 
it is a soulmate connection. Your person with the Seven of Pentacles sees your value. They understand that you are a rock star, that you bring love to the table, that you've done a lot of healing work, that you're very spiritual. So this is their intention is to create something quite beautiful with you. In terms of their actions, they feel right now as though you're going to reject them, that their lack of attentiveness before would have been perceived by you as boredom, like, oh, I'm not really interested and you're not really the one for me. And they feel as though, I call this, you know, this is a Libra queen, Judge Judy, that you cut them out of your life. So their actions are to try to meet up with you in a situation in which you could be at someone else's wedding, that you may be attending some sort of group festive activity. This is a soulmate card of meeting somebody from the past. This is Scorpio energy. And so what we see here is that this person is waiting, the Wheel of Fortune, for the opportunity to come in and when you will, you'll be defensive with them. They understand that you'll be very guarded with them. But the chance to really talk to you and to have enough hours, you know, four to six hours in which to woo you so that you don't turn your back on them. So that's what I get for their energy in terms of their, you know, their actions towards you. Let's look and see what the... High Priestess Oracle advises for you at this time. What is the advice from the High Priestess Oracle for our beautiful Scorpio friends? Harvest, gathering blessings. So this is a time in your life when you are gathering, you know, the seeds that you've planted. You are harvesting that good in the world which you brought to the forefront. Effort plus intention, your person is absolutely going to do everything they can to win you back. And it really is at this time for you, Scorpio, the advice is learning joy, art, music, really just focusing on your own happiness. And then if you're willing to let this person back in, if you're willing to let them, you know, have a place in your life, you're going to still stay focused on, on you, which is appropriate. Um, because, you know, other people don't really make us happy. We make ourselves happy with our choices.